the CFPD uh, has set up a staging area where we're expecting to hear from them any moment well, now. It looks like they're walking toward the podium um, as we speak, and hopefully we can get um, some answers to what's going on, how this fire started, but also, um, Ben, as you alluded to earlier, uh, are we still missing some construction workers? How many people were hurt? Uh, Medic has tweeted out some of that information throughout this whole process, but let's listen in. Are y'all ready? All right. Good afternoon. My name is Captain Gilmore, Charlotte Fire Department. Uh, we're going to uh, talk about the multi alarm fire that happened early today uh, in the South Park area. I'm going to have uh, Fire Chief Reginald Johnson come up to read a statement, and this will be a statement only. Uh, we'll do follow ups at a later time. Uh, right now, we got a lot of work to do. so. Just please be patient with us, okay? So right now, I'm going to uh, have Chief Johnson. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. At approximately 9 o'clock this morning, Charlotte Fire Alarm received several calls on a working structure fire at the 7700 block of Liberty Road. Units arrived within minutes and had heavy smoke conditions from the construction site. At 9:10, we had a second alarm and we went up to five alarms at 9.10, 9.20, 9.30, and 9.56 was, was the fifth alarm. We had over 90 firefighters on scene who heroically rescued 15 workers from the construction site, including one that was up on the crane, that we had to put hose lines in place to protect the crane until we could actually make the rescue itself. That crane operator was, was transported by medic with non-life-threatening injuries. During the course of this, it was a very fast-moving fire, um, high heat conditions, well over 2,000 degrees. Um, and, and as a construction site is open, a lot of wood is exposed, the fire moved very rapidly. We had several May Days. That means a May Day is when crews get trapped or have access issues of escaping due to the fast moving fire. And, and a May Day is required when we have to send other firefighters to rescue those companies. And we had two of those as they were attempting to rescue uh, all of the construction workers that were in the uh, building at the time. According to the construction foreman, there are two construction workers that are unaccounted for. We're still in the process of extinguishing the fire, uh, and so we're going to be on scene for a period of time. Um, we have a number of investigators here that will determine the cause, uh, and I would like to thank our neighboring departments for providing support to the rest of the city as we have five alarms worth of units here. We still continue to provide service to the city. Uh, again, we rescued 15 people from this fire. Um, and the men and women of this department put themselves in harm's way uh, and actually had to call for assistance themselves to get out of this fire. That's how fast it was moving. Um, and so I'm proud of the work that we've done here. Uh, there was a number of spot fires, just the construction site or construction building just across the street was starting to catch fire. We stopped that. Uh, and then we had a number of rooftop fires due to the, the embers that were just traveling all over the place due to the, the volume and size of the fire. And so we were able to stop any further exposures to that. And with that, that's our fire department statement at this point in time. We'll, uh, again, be able to come back and answer questions at, at some other time. Thank, Thank you. you. I just also want to mention, uh, while we was out here with this five alarm fire, it took a lot of resources from the Charlotte Fire Department. We had surrounding counties assisting Charlotte Fire to make sure we had adequate coverage inside the rest of the city. Uh, a few of those departments was Pineville Fire Department, Midland Fire Department, Wesley Chapel, and Steel Creek Fire Departments. Again, like the Fire Chief said, we're going to be out here for quite some time. Uh, we're just asking you to please be patient. As, as the information comes in, we'll try to get it to you as quick as we can. All right, so please follow our uh, social media accounts to determine the next time we're going to have a press conference. 
Okay, thank you. You've been listening to Chief Reginald Johnson with the Charlotte Fire Department, um, giving us an update on what we know. And I think at this hour, the most pressing thing is that we know two construction workers are still yes. unaccounted for. Uh, 90 firefighters on yeah. scene fighting this fire. They rescued 15 people, um, one of those being um, yeah, the construction water. worker that was yeah. on the crane, which they said took uh, quite some time. They said there were several uh, Maydays. That's when their firefighter yeah. crews so, get so trapped. Two Maydays where they had to be yeah. rescued. Their firefighters had to rescue their own involved in getting those people out. They had to establish uh, you know, hose lines to get in there to get the workers out yeah. and to rescue our own yeah. firefighters. It, it speaks to the ferocity of these flames that, that yeah. they had, had to save 15 people and then themselves had to be saved. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not often that we hear about a fire of this magnitude in no. Charlotte. Um, it's been years since we've heard of anything like I mean, this. It's, it's a frightening situation. We yeah. think this is a this is a structure, a wood structure like this. So uh, it does it does indicate that they can uh, yeah. be very dangerous, uh, and we don't know what ignited it. We'll find out later.